Well, buenas noches. Could start with buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches. And those are <coughs> greetings. <coughs> and vamos a aprender más español. We want to learn. We want to learn more Spanish. Okay. So, esta noche, noche está aquí. Uh, vamos a tener los números, números esta noche, all right? Uh, uno a cien, that means one to a hundred. So let's go, and you've been learning these over here, so you shouldn't have too much trouble with those. And so we'll get a, let me get a pin here, and let's see. All right, so we start with uno. Everybody with me, please? Repeating conmigo. That means repeating uh, to say it again with me. Here we go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Now, in el pasado, tenemos solamente los números. Uh, we just had the numbers, but we didn't write them out like this. So now you get to learn the actual pronunciation with the written word. Okay, so let's try it again. Uno a diez. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, Nueve diez. Now, recuerden ustedes están aprendiendo los uh, vocales. You were learning the vowels. A, A, E, O, U. Let's put that up here. Okay. A, A, E, O, U. There you go. And so that will help you with the pronunciation here because you will have the sounds like uno, O, and then U. That's the U, and so dos, O, and so on. So now you, ha you have the sounds with the vowel sounds, A, E, E, O, U, remember? Record them. Okay, so I'm going to use more and more Spanish in the lesson so you can remember it and see how it's going. All right, so let's all do this again. Uno a diez. Everyone conmigo? Juntos. Juntos means together. Uh, Estamos listos? That means, are you ready? <laughs> It can also mean, are you smart? So you say, si. All right, here's si. In Spanish, that means yes. Okay, so you've got there, yes. That wasn't a very good yes, but so you say si. Kind of sounds like the letter C, doesn't it? C. Yes. Okay, now let's do this one more time, then we'll go on to the next level. Uno, dos, conmigo. Everybody in the house, I want to hear you saying it. Are you ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Muy bien. I'll say bueno. That means good. All right. Now let's go to the next set. Get over here where you can see me. Probably on this side is better. Here you go. Once, that's 11. Once, doce. Trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, dieciocho, diecinueve, veinte. Now let me show you something. A key, when you get to 15, do you notice? They just add ds, which is 10, and then you can write it like this as one word. Personally, I really like it this way. Ds. Uh, you have you can remember D S E that means and E says all right so that means ten and seven that makes it easy doesn't it to remember <clears throat> up here a little more you have to think a little more on say that would be eleven dose it's kind of like dos except dose change the S to a C and add a A on it. <clears throat> Trece, 13, trece, catorce, all right, that's 14, quince. Now that one's really kind of different. And when you get up to like uh, 50 or 500, and that, uh, you have to remember, but here is quince, 
Okay, then we could say it like this. Dieciséis, dieciséte, so you're saying 10 and 7, dieciocho, oh, it's over here the same. All right, dieci nueve, and veinte, veinte is 20. All right, so when you get there, veinte. Now, <clears throat> if you want to remember these here, you would say like this, the uh, ds is uh, right there, d in English would be d-i-e-z, but in Spanish, de e a z -a. Okay, all right. So, uh, DS seis, let's say that together, DS siete, DS ocho, DS nueve, <clears throat> and then veinte. All right, now you can see if you want to put it one word, get over here where you can see my face. If you want to put it as one word, you have D, okay, DS seis, D E C seis, okay. Diese siete, diese ocho, diese nueve. So you just uh, substitute here, it would be a Z, but you put over here a C, and then you can, for the Y, when you put it as together as a word, you put a, a I there, which would be the E in Spanish, okay? So now let's go over from the beginning what we have here so far. Everybody with me? The more you practice it, you know what? It has just come natural after a while. And I learned this when I was probably, I'm guessing, nine years old, just because my mom started me like this. But she, <clears throat> here we go. I don't know exactly how far we got, probably at least through 10, maybe more. Here we go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Muy bien, that means very good. Okay, now let's keep going. Once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, or dieciséis, diece siete, diece ocho, diece nueve. Something came undone there. Okay, and veinte. Okay, now you're up to Okay, you're up to 20, but we want to get up to 100. So we'll go a little bit faster over here. And uh, so let's look at this on the numbers. Let's go through 21. Oh, do you hear it? It's just repeating. You get 20 down here for 20, and then you say 21. So you just add one from over here, 21. Or you could write it like this, 20 y uno. But usually we just write it 20 y uno. It's fast that way. 22. Okay. 20 y dos. 30. 30. 30 y uno. Okay. 40. 40 y uno. All right. So, are you starting to catch on? Once you've learned uno uh, diez, well, you shouldn't have any problem once you get to 20. You just add the 1 again, the 2 again, and so on. And the same thing when you get to 30. You'd add the 1, the 2, etc. So you just keep repeating the same things. Now, let's get down and let's go to 50. Okay, can, I, can you say that with me? 50. 50. 50. Now, Spanish, uh, 50 y dos, or uno, 50 y dos, etc. Uh, in Espanol, well, that's Spanish, um, ellos usan los sonidos de vocales, son, uh, siguen las reglas. In other words, they follow the rules. Where in English, there are quite a few exceptions, and we'll talk about that tomorrow night's class in English class. All right? But hopefully you're... You're getting into the Spanish, and now we'll do sesenta, okay. So, if you notice here, there is cent. You see the word cent in here? I underlined it for you, cent. Like you sent a package, 
All right. This one, tent. Do you see tent in here? Setenta. And then, of course, you've got ochenta, noventa, cien, or uh, ciento, and cien. Well, if you had cien, y uno, etc., you could add, keep going. But this is uh, how it goes. And you've just, you're hearing it for probably the first time tonight on some of this. So we're just going to go a few more minutes. Uh, this class is just going to be a short one on the numbers. But I want you, hopefully, you'll keep this and refer to it often on your uh, cell phone or computer. And remember, if you can't find us uh, on uh, you know, Facebook or that sort of thing, you can also go to your computer, I'll put up here, uh, so you'll remember Bible, so you can remember Bible, okay, hyphen, Christian, and then dot org, okay, and you know what, you can go there and put in uh, numbers and Spanish, something like that, that's why I'll put it in. And a few minutes uh, after this lesson, it'll be there, and you can refer to it on your computer. If for any reason we don't have the lessons here, always go to bible-christian.org and put in the search engine the things that you need. Now, let's go over this again, and then you're going to practice on your own. Okay, so the lesson's not too long tonight. The vowel sounds A, A, E, O, U, and you're using those in the, in the numbers here. So let's go together, everybody together with me, okay? Uno, dos, I don't hear you, I need to hear everybody speaking. Okay, speak nice and loud, don't be afraid, okay? Here we go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Here, let me clap for you guys, yay. All right, let's keep going. And then we'll go over here. The next row, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince. Now when you get the quince, changes, the easy stuff starts here, okay? So you say diez, you say, so you can think of it, diez over here, two, three different words, diez and seven, diez and diez, he says, diez, siete, you see? Uh, DS8, DS8, I liked it when it got there with the DS and then because it's just really easy that way. Then DS9, 20. All right, look how far and how fast you're going. Now let's get up here and when you want to add to 20, you'll go 20 y uno, 20 y dos. Uh, now we're uh, you could do that with each one of the numbers, 20 y tres, 20 y cuatro, etc. But you can learn, you can do that on your own. And now let's go up to uh, 30. That would be 30, right? Here we go, 30. And then go from here, 40. 40. And of course, the same thing, 41, 42, etc. It gets too easy after a while. Okay, numbers are easy in Spanish, I think. Anyway, cincuenta, that would be 50. All right, S now, get ready for the cent. You see cent in there in English, S-E-N-T, but it kind of sounds the same. Sesenta, that would be 60. All right, 70, setenta, there's the tent in there, you see it? Okay, ochenta, Ochenta, oh, eighty, okay. Noventa, okay. Now you see vent in here, this one. So if you see something in there that helps you, just uh, use it, you know. And then cien or cien, ciento is a hundred, cien y uno, etc., like that. Now later, uh, next time or some other time, we'll talk about the thousand, the million, and that sort of thing. But I think you've had enough for one night, and I hope that you enjoy doing that. And in Spanish, you say, uh, for me, because it's the evening, and I'll say, que pasen un buen, well, buen día, if it's during the daytime where you are, maybe in India or Kenya, 
you say, pasen, que pasen un buen día, have a nice day. Or if it's um, nighttime, uh, we can say, you know, buenas noches, and then we could say, for tomorrow, remember, you could say, hasta mañana, that would be till tomorrow, or tomorrow morning, you could say, hasta mañana and la mañana. And we'll get into the, some more of that as you go along. But uh, right now, I'm just going to say, adios, okay? Adios, amigos. All right. Dios lo 